for that wonderful song Hurt by Johnny Cash originally Nine Inch Nails quick version for those who don't want to go through the whole video A minor C and D that's the verse so practice that over and over before you try the song out one little tip for those who are not used to it remember to relax the fingers before you shift. Don't keep your hands stiff, your fingers stiff. Play, release, shift. It'll be much quicker in the end. So first, A minor C D. At the end of the verse, but I remember C every D thing. We have one bar of G5. And then we're into the chorus, which is A minor, F. C and G. Repeat. Everyone I know goes away in the end. Each time I'm playing a G5, not a G. Next, you can have it all. A minor F. My Empire of Dirt is G. One bar of G. A minor F. G. I will make you. And then finally, we're back. Next, right hand. Play two more fingers. I'll just do a thumb for now. Five, four, and then strum three, two, one. So on C, it's five, four, three, two, and one. And a bass note on five before you move on to the next chord, D. You can play either a D or a D sus two. There's a D major on the right hand speaker on that guitar, and there's a D sus2 on the left, I think. And the combination gives you something like 
but it's much better with two guitars. Five, four, strong, bass note. On the D, it's the same as with the C chord, except now it's play four, three, and two and one together. And a bass note this time is string three. I play the open fourth quite a lot because I was panicking a little when I was performing it and it's easier to but really almost all the time it's now to deal with that there's a little bit of time to, between changing so on the D there it, when you do play the third string you can leave it hanging on just for a little while while you get yourself ready for the A minor chord. My thumb goes to the fifth string, and while I'm playing that, look at my left hand, I change, and that helps to connect it so there's no audible gap. There's something happening, but I'm being a bit picky, I know, but it's a whole bunch easier if you, instead of going thumb, 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 plectrum, 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 which is slightly easier, actually, if you use a thumb and three fingers, so I play thumb, thumb, three fingers, plucking, thumb, thumb, three fingers, bass note, thumb, change chord, thumb, index finger plays string three, I move my finger sideways, which makes it squeak, sorry about that, two and one, and now I'm plucking with my index finger string three fret two on the D. Change over. If you want to play individual notes like this and not dragging through and rest strokes, it's entirely up to you. I generally play a rest stroke on the thumb and then a free stroke on the D string. That's what I find easiest because it gets my thumb out of the way of the fingers. If I do a rest stroke, my thumb bashes into my index finger. It's not a crime, but I just don't like the feeling. So you try whichever method you want. Could it be done with just a finger back of the index? Like a plectrum, you know, works really well, doesn't it? Where you're going to play, obviously, is up to you. But that's very important to do with the build in the chorus. So I start fairly brittle. I tend to play somewhat nearer the bridge than the sound hole. You know, my, obviously my fingers are nearer anyway by playing the thumb on the edge of the sound hole there. So you go for the sound you want. Another thing about the building, as in getting louder and softer, the guitar doesn't have a massive dynamic range, so it's important to use it as well as you can. So start, if you're going to be quiet, be really quiet. I tend to build here on the C to D. So I'll have that mistake there. And then I pull off, pull away on the start. So I don't go loud, loud, loud. I go loud, loud, soft. Soft, louder, and back again. So it's little rises and falls. Then, when you get to the chorus, did you notice when I was playing the um, performance, I left my little finger on string one fret three throughout the chorus? Because you'll hear that on the track you hear on the piano, the, the G is very important um, because it's symbolic. That's why I think it should be there. That's why I think why it is there. It's this, the continuity of life is what it's saying to me. Um, there's a sort of irony, I don't know, but there's a stark contrast between the idea that time goes on and we have our time. So, and it makes the chorus beautiful because you have all the changing voices from the changing notes on each string, because each string has a voice, but this one doesn't change. So now I'll play my chords, A minor. F, C, and G, five. Everyone I know, so A minor C. And you can, A minor, have it all. 
right hand I tend to play it's in imitation of the overall track and quite a lot of the guitar I do strum and thumb strum and thumb so it's A minor I play strings three two and one and then I play either the bass note A string five or I'm fairly loose about it I might end up playing the A and the E there on strings five and four but basically it's strum thumb or if you're using a finger or a plectrum, three, two, and one, and make sure you get the bass note in, or somewhere around there. And I tend to play loud, soft, very slightly. So the bass note, no, the bass line is taking second place. Back C. On the Fs, add nine. Three, two, and one, and then string four is the bass note. So you can hear da 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 on the C. I'm not playing a lot of string four, but I don't worry whether I do or don't. But I am really just going for string three, two, and one because it's nice and bare, which I think I need. And then the bass note on the C is string five. So every one I know, A minor F goes away. And yeah, you can have it all. My empire of dirt. I will let you down. I, and on I will make you hurt. I do one strum of G. I will make you. And then we're back in. The build. That's the last thing I want to talk about. Try to remember. I think I remember when I performed it drop right down for the start of the chorus and try to build and build and build in volume. Uh, not easy, as I say, because the dynamic range of the guitar is not great, so you've got to build slowly and it helps, I think. I always like building and I'm soft. If I want to exaggerate soft or emphasise soft, I will start up over the sound hole or even over the neck on a classical guitar or a flamenco guitar. I'll show you now. Whatever. Nice and quiet. here so I can make loud sound and bash them without getting too much buzz. You can have it there, start your call in. I'm up to about level four of volume now to about what we can get louder. Sorry, I will let you down. And then let the bottom drop out. I will make you hurt. And I don't know whether it happens on the track or not, because I can't remember, but I, I assume that after you get to the final chord, I will make you, there's a slight pause, so kill the strings with one or both hands. I'm a box and braces kind of player, so I will use both hands. I will do, I will make you, and then nice and quiet hurt. Build, and then back down. Or if you want to, don't build and fall back down. Let's try it without. I hurt myself today. Yeah, you could do it without. And then remember everything. Do it there. So that would be an alternative, wouldn't it? That's nice too. Let um, the words push and drive your emotions and stir them and then let your playing be stirred by that. Um, if I'm feeling sad, I generally play quiet, as in when I'm performing a, a song and I need sadness in it, or if it's poignant or wistful, I'll tend to play quietly, unless it's ironic, which of course means you do the opposite. If you have a song where you're saying the opposite, where a chord is major, but you're saying something sad, then you have to decide whether you're going to go with the happiness of the chord and a smile and you know or whether you want to make it sound you know you want the deliberate contrast so the guitar and the voice are talking to each other the voice is saying something cheery and the guitar saying he's wrong he's wrong it's up to you that's an aside 
there you go and if you like what you've heard do subscribe and do like and share and look at the long videos always i think i always do don't just go for shorts hop across see you